Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and Adobe has just made an update to Adobe Lightroom 6. Now, if you were worried that it was only going to end up in the cloud, well, you don't have to worry because Adobe will be doing standalone Lightroom 6 still, and I'll talk about pricing for both later and which way I think you should go and which way I personally am going, but let's talk about the features that they have that I find to be interesting. Well, this thing is now ready for for speed. It is built for speed because it's 10 times more sensitive. Not 10 times more sensitive, it is 10 times faster for processing your images. They're now taking advantage of the GPUs and just allowing you to have more speed than you had before with editing your images, which I know is going to come in handy because since CS, uh, since Lightroom 4 and 5, it's been slow. And slow doesn't mean good when you've got 600 raw files to process. So that's one thing that I can't wait to use is the faster processing. Now something that people may be like, well, you are anti-HDR. Well, I haven't been a fan of HDR, but now with Lightroom adding it in to the program and you don't have to round trip it out of it to something else to bring it all the way back to work as it as a TIFF file and stack this and go to a third party software. You don't have to do that anymore. You could do it all right inside of Lightroom. And in Vegas, I did some test images that I can put through this to see how it really does work. Now HDR when done right is really good because you're getting a lot more dynamic range. One day the cameras will catch up to this with the dynamic range, but until that point, if you do HDR properly so that when you look at the image, you don't even know it's HDR, then I think that that is okay. And I look forward to trying that because maybe this will start to make some of my images better in certain situations. Now, another thing that they added there uh, was pano for stitching, panoramic stitching inside the application. That's great. Being that this is all inside the application, you don't have to take it out somewhere else. You don't have to convert it to a TIFF. It will stay now as a 16-bit DNG. That's a lot of data that you can have inside your files. That's why I'm looking forward to doing the merging of HDR as well as playing with the panoramic functions because I would like to try that out later. They added face detection. Everybody has face detection these days. I don't know the, I mean, I get the point of it, Maybe it will be useful. We'll see. I guess if you need to search for a certain person's face, it can find it, kind of like what Facebook does, but that's one thing. Uh, filters plus brush tools. They now give you more fine-tuned adjustments that you can do there. I know that they were okay in the last version, but now we're looking to, to make it better in this version. So meaning you could pinpoint, fine-tune, uh, changing certain areas of your image. That That's something that a lot of people like. I don't do too much editing, fine tuning like that. I just don't spend the time to do it because I just don't, but I know a lot of people do, so that could be a great feature for them. So really, those are the high level things that they've made a change to. I'm looking forward to downloading the CC when it becomes available. As of right now, it's not available to download, but when it does, I will be doing videos and running tests and seeing how it all works. But the big question is, should you buy Lightroom 6 or should you go with Creative Cloud for the photography bundle. I know a lot of people were anti going to the cloud because you got to pay $9.99 a month and I want to own the program. Get over it at this point. $9.99 a month for Lightroom and for Photoshop CC, both CC for Creative Cloud, means that they're going to get updates more often. It means that they're just, they're just there. And yes, you have to pay $10 a month. That's $120 a year. Or you could just buy... It's standalone for 150 bucks. Maybe the update will be 80 bucks, but wouldn't you rather spend $120 a year and get Photoshop and Lightroom together? This is the way the world is going, so you're either going to accept it or you're going to sit there and bitch and moan that you want to go back to the old way. There's 4 million people on Creative Cloud right now. 4 million. They're not going back. It's here to stay. I use Creative Cloud photo bundle because it's $9.99 a month. I get Photoshop, I get Lightroom, and I'm happy. So those are the changes that are made. It's faster, more fine-tuned adjustments, HDR, no more round tripping, other stuff that I've already mentioned, and I will be doing more videos in the future, and that is where I will leave it. So if you'd like to sign up for the Fronos Photo email list, you can do so by clicking up on the screen right now. It's going to take you over to the website, look for that orange box, put your name, email address in it, hit send it, and I will send you a free Guide to Capturing Motion in Low Light Situations. And there you have it, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.